Struggles. Innovation. Going all in. Not holding back. Mindset. Being a leader. Paving their own way. Putting the real in real estate. Listing legacies. Selling luxury. You have the vault. Unlocking conversations in real estate today. We're alive with the vault. I'm your host, Jessica Hastings Les Bronx, and let me introduce my co host, Alexa Miller. Alexa, what are we getting up to today? Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Vault. Today, we are going to dive into the world of lead generating. So um, if you are a new realtor or a seasoned realtor, you should know that lead gen is the base of our business. It's so important, and we want to teach you how to do it. Yeah, and it's like as Alexa said, the base of our business. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's talk about, you know, what's the top one we both use right now? What's yours? My top I'd say is social media, Mm -hmm. online, internet. 100%. Is my main, um, is my main source of lead gen. I also rely a lot on my database and following up with my database. Now that I've been in the business for four to five years, I have a, I've built a database And that's, um, you know, my daily is keeping in touch with them. But um, when you're first starting out, there's so many ways you can lead gen. And we're going to go over quite a few of those to help you. Mm -hmm. So for our listeners, can you break down how do you leverage social media? Like, tell us the how. Yeah. So when I first got into real estate, I immediately got online and made um, social media accounts. So I had personal Facebook, Twitter, Instagram accounts, but I wanted to um, create them for my business, which is exactly what I did. So I got on um, Instagram and Facebook. Those are the two that I use most. I, depending on who you talk to, some people say that you should be on every single platform that you can, you can possibly be on. I do it all myself right now. I don't have an assistant. You won't if you're starting out. So I liked I like to choose two that you're going to be really, really good at and stick with those, at least in the beginning. So for me, it's Facebook and Instagram. Um, When I started out, I followed everyone I already knew, as well as other people. And I slowly, I didn't have any business at, at that point. So I basically went to my team member and I said, hey, can I post your listings? Um, I shared home tips. I shared whatever I could, as well as personal stuff. Um, And essentially, the way I got it started was, I'd reach out to people that would follow me back, I'd thank them for following me, we'd get into a conversation, Um, it would lead to me being in real estate and and blah, blah, blah. Um, Now it's a lot bigger spectrum, I do paid advertising on Facebook and Instagram, and I get leads that way. Um, But yeah, that's kind of the tip of the iceberg for that. Yeah, so to recap what Alexa just said, she's leveraging social media. The platform she's choosing to use is Instagram and Facebook to reach potential clients. And the content she's sharing is valuable content, including property listings, virtual tours, real estate tips, community Mm -hmm. insights, and she's using paid ads. I think that last part is something we've been missing uh, for years. And Mm -hmm. now up to the last two years, I'd say, it's becoming more of a thing where we're sponsoring the ad. Uh, Alexa is very good with her buyer and seller guides as well, where she's reaching and getting their contact information, where you have to put in your name and email in order, in order to get that buyer and seller guide. So that's what's called a lead magnet. So mm-hmm. she's creating lead magnets in order to get that contact, which is what you really want. We can create lead magnets all day, although if we're not converting into a name or contact or some person. It may not be worth our effort and we need to really pay attention to how much we're putting out there of, you know, contacts opposed to just, you know, static images and videos of that's not really getting us things or places. Yeah. And keep in mind that when you're starting out and you aren't out selling full time yet, you need to be spending more than so they typically say spend two hours a day lead generating. But when you're starting, it should be like six hours a day because essentially you have no business yet. So you can afford to go out and spend that time on, on getting leads. So you need to make social media, social media management, a part of your day. And it should be a big part of your day because that's where everybody is right now. It's online. Um, So, you know, 
half an hour to an hour of my day is spending on social media, interacting with other people and their posts, you know, whether I'm commenting about their beautiful family photo or I'm messaging someone about something or whatever it may be, liking, sharing, commenting, um, you need to spend that time daily yeah. if you're going to make lead gen or sorry, you're going to make social media a big part of your lead gen.